I've been struggling with my role um, in this greater Christian content creation space online uh, for a while. I, I haven't really known who I am, where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I, I mentioned this some and received a lot of encouragement from people, and that was great. I wasn't discouraged. <laughs> I was I was happy and whatever. Um, I love doing this, but I was restless. I, I, w- I felt like I was supposed to be doing more. And so, like I did before my first stream back in 2019, I made it a matter of prayer. And I said, I, I got to know. God, if I'm supposed to be doing something different or if I'm not supposed to be doing this at all, I need to know because I am I feel weird. <laughs> I feel out of place. I feel restless. So in January, <coughs> in January, my local church, we uh, started a 21-day fast, as many churches do and, and we often do in January. We did a 21-day fast, really, you know, praying for uh, revival and personal revival, corporate revival, those kind of things. Um, and it was great and there was a lot of success in, in the church and people um, really growing close to the Lord in a time of prayer and fasting. But my focus for those 21 days was, Lord, I need clarity in my calling in this Christian content creation space. That's a lot of C's. Um, and after 21 days, I had an answer, but I wasn't satisfied with the answer. I got an unsatisfying answer. I don't know if y'all have ever had that experience where you pray and seek the Lord and God answers, but it's unsatisfying. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of the kind of answer that I got. I was like, okay, well, and I'll tell you what that was in a minute, but I was like, that, that doesn't really help me. So I extended my own personal fast for the full month of January. And after the full month, the Lord brought clarity. And now I'm very clear on where I'm at, what I'm supposed to be doing, and what things are going to look like going forward. So that's what this video is. This is my plan going forward and the clarity that uh, the Lord brought through that time of prayer and fasting. Thank you, uh, Fallen. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, so like I said before um, in the previous video, if, if you haven't seen that one yet, check it out. Um, I'm friends with so many. Uh, hey, and Dr. Sachs. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, and a sub. Uh, Zach with the tier one. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. For five months. Thank you. Said I don't like ads. Yeah, me either. They're dumb. <laughs> um, okay, I'll have to edit that later. <laughs> so like I said before uh, in the, the other video, I'm friends with so many of the, the movers, the shakers in this space. Um, a lot of people that I've known for years and I love and support and talk to regularly and pray with. Um, have great conversations with them regularly and as i've seen more and more of them step up to do big awesome things in this space uh all in the name of ministering to gamers online that's what had me questioning my call my role what i'm supposed to be doing uh fall and thank you for the sub <laughs> that had me questioning my calling because as i'm seeing all, all these awesome people, movers and shakers, step up and do all these huge, awesome things. Um, and I'm awesome. I'm excited for them. I'm supporting them. But like, then I look at myself and I'm like, well, am I supposed to be doing something like that too? Should I be doing those kind of things? Is that what the Lord is leading me to do? And that's what made me start feeling so restless. Um, <clears throat> before my very first stream, February 16th, 2019, five years ago to the day that I'm recording this, I wrote out a mission statement and I put it on a post-it note, put it on my um, monitor in front of me because it took me a while to memorize it. And I've said it thousands and thousands of times at this point. And it's, I'll say it again. Y'all can say it with me. You know it. It's, hi, my name is Pastor Deuston. I'm a real pastor who plays Pokemon, Doom, and everything in between, all with the intention of sharing God's love with the gaming world, because I believe God loves gamers. And so do I. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. And I felt back in 2019 that that's what the Lord was calling me and leading me to do. I spoke with my wife. I spoke with my pastor. I made it a matter of prayer. Um, but I hadn't prayed about it again since 2019 that i've never had a time where i've said lord am i still where you want me to be am i still doing what you um have called me to do 
that I never prayed that prayer until this this January and this time of fasting and praying. So after the 21 days, the, that initial 21 day fast, when I got the unsatisfying answer, here's the answer that I got from God. I was asking, Lord, I need clarity in my calling. What, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be doing more? I'm seeing all these other people do this awesome stuff. I feel restless. Should I be doing more? What do you want me to do? Give me clarity in my calling. And this is what I heard from the Lord. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> thanks, God. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> That's why I said it felt very unsatisfying. I was like, okay, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Then why do I feel so restless? I shouldn't feel restless if I'm where I'm supposed to be, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Why do I feel so restless? So, like I said, I made, I extended the fast, made it a full month and continued praying and seeking the Lord. And by the end of the month, I received clarity in my call. And here it is. I was only feeling that way. I was feeling restless because I was comparing myself to other creators. God is raising people up in this Christian creator space. And it's awesome to see. It's awesome. People are doing huge things, making big moves. Remember what I said at the end of the last video? I'm not against anyone, even though everything I said, I'm not against them. I love them. I support them. I love seeing it. They're making big moves. Praise God for it. That's huge. I want to see more and more of that. I'm so thankful for that. But the mistake that I made was I was looking at the moves that they were making and assuming that I'm supposed to be making similar moves. But if I did, then I'd be stepping out from the call of God on my life and taking matters into my own hand. God hasn't told me to do any of that. So if I did that because I felt like I was supposed to because everyone else is, then I'd just be out on my own doing my own thing, not doing what the Lord wants me to do. So here's what I'm not doing. Here's what I'm not doing. I'm not a digital pastor. That should be clear from the previous video. Not a digital pastor. I'm not starting an online church. I'm not a digital mis digital missionary. I'm not anything like that. Okay, that's not what I'm doing. Here's what I am. And here's what I'll continue to be doing until God directs me otherwise. I am simply a Christian in digital space. That's it. I am a Christian in digital space. That is my calling. That is the clarity that I received. I am simply a Christian in digital space. So my mission statement remains accurate and it will be uh, for the foreseeable future. It's what it's always been. <laughs> my name is Pastor Deuston. I'm a real pastor who plays Pokemon, Doom, everything in between, all with the intention of sharing God's love with the gaming world because I believe God loves gamers and so do I. But what about your content? I hear you saying you do Bible study, you do prayer, um, you're sharing the gospel with people, all that kind of stuff. Isn't, isn't that the type of content that a digital pastor would produce? I'd say no, not necessarily. I mean, yeah, they sure could, but no, not necessarily. Every Christian should be, should love reading and studying the word of God. Every Christian should enjoy praying with and for others. Every Christian should be eager to share the gospel. I'm just being a Christian in digital space. Yes, I happen to be a pastor at my local church. So while I may be a pastor here and my online alias may be Pastor Deuston, I'm just simply your brother in Christ. I, I'm just living out my Christian life here in digital space, loving gamers just like you. That's it. And that's what I'm going to continue doing. I don't know how long. Maybe another five years. We'll see. <laughs> I'll just have to make sure that I don't go another five years without praying about it. Because <laughs> that's what got me to this point uh, in the first one, in the first place. So that's the clarity. That's what I'm going to be doing. And if you want to know more about why I say that I'm a pastor, but not your pastor, then you can click here for the other video that I just recorded. <laughs>